Okay, we're going to go over the function and solve in RTI Inspire. This function allows us to solve any equation that has only one variable. So we're going to start in our main menu. And the ENSOL function, you can use it from the calculate page in the scratchpad, or you can add a calculate page in a document. There won't be any difference. I just prefer to use the scratchpad part of the calculator. So that's what we're going to use right now. So we select our calculate page. And this will access us, obviously, to the scratchpad into a calculate page. From here, all that we have to do is press the button menu. And this will bring a menu to our screen where the third option is going to be algebra. We're going to select algebra and then we're going to get this second menu where we have the option numerical solve. That will be the function that we're using, numerical solve. And you will notice that right away in your calculator appears and solve. That is the name of the command for you to be able to use this feature. So I'm going to start with a simple equation. And uh, that's going to be 3x plus 2 equals x minus 10. Notice how I have variables on both sides. This function, this command in the Inspire does not really mind how complicated your equation is. So all that I did is write my equation exactly as it was given to me. But then at the end, I have to put the comma and then the letter or variable that we are trying to define. In this case, I have x. After that, all that we have to do is do enter. And then we will get negative 6. That will be the value for x. I'm going to do one more example for you to see how um, you can use this for any kind of equation. Again, when there's only one variable, it doesn't matter that the variable is repeated, but as long as it's the same variable. So we're going to do menu again. We have our menu and we are going to select algebra and then numerical solve. And again, our end solve command appears on the screen. This time I'm going to use negative C plus 10 equals 2. And then here I'm going to try to uh, distribute. So I'm going to open parentheses. I had problems in the past account for the Inspire to recognize in the number next to parentheses means multiplication. So I always feel more comfortable just by adding the multiplication sign. And I'm going to put C minus 4, close parentheses. Now notice, like I mentioned before, we only have one variable, which in this case is C. This is why I'm able to use the nsolve command. And after we write our equation, we just put comma. And then in this case, the variable that I want to define is C, the only variable in my equation, and I press enter. So that means six, that's the value for C.